Hello, in this video we're going to look at the exponential family, specifically the Pareto distribution within the exponential family. Now the Pareto distribution is only part of the exponential family when we assume we know the minimum value that the Pareto distribution takes on. Okay, so this is a follow-up video for where when we found the mean and the variance of a generic exponential family distribution. And in that video, we showed that if we could write the distribution in one of these two forms, then it's considered the exponential family distribution. Now, this second parameterization is called the canonical form. And, and if you can write it in this form, it really gives us benefits because then taking derivatives of this log partition right here, A of, of eta, then it gives us or provides the moments of the sufficient statistic in our exponential family. So let's jump right into the Pareto distribution and that's it. Now X has to be greater or equal to some known minimum and and we're going to assume alpha is greater than 2 so we can find the variance. Now if we don't know the minimum then this doesn't fit into the exponential family of distribution so we have to assume we know X of M which is the minimum. So now we start writing this in um, exponential form. And here, this is a parameter. This is a sort of the, uh, a, a constant with the parameter. And this is data with a parameter. And the reason I say it like that is because we kind of have to think about how we're going to break it up. And in this case, we just take e to the log of everything that we start out. See, and that gives us all this this in the exponent. Now the log, there's nice properties about the log that we can break that up. So the log of alpha is here. And then this is the, the log of x sub m to the alpha, but the alpha can be taken out front. And no data here, it's just a constant, or the parameter. Here's just the parameter. And for the denominator, it ends up, you know, because it's in the denominator, it ends up being minus, and that exponent can be taken out front. So here we have pr the parameter and data, which looks like this, and then here we have all just uh, parameter. And then our function of x is, is just 1. And that is indeed the case, the way that we make this into an exponential family. So the log partition is this, it's minus this stuff. Because this is plus, but to be parameterized, you have to have that minus in there. Now, let's put it in canonical form. And so instead of calling this minus alpha plus 1, we just call generically call it eta. And then it's in this form. Okay, But this log partition, which is this, we have to write it in terms of eta. So how do we do that? we do it this way. So this, uh, the log partition in canonical form is this. Now notice if you were to put the value of eta in here, then everything would cancel and we would just get alpha back, you know, minus alpha. In the same way here, if we put it uh, minus alpha plus one in here, then we're, we're going to get minus alpha log of the uh, x of m. Now, now that we have the log partition in from the canonical form, we can start taking derivatives of it to find the moments. Now, here, we the theory says that the mean of the sufficient statistic, and on the previous page, I don't think I pointed it out, but it was kind of obvious, that the sufficient statistic is log of x, right? Log of x. So in this case, we're finding the mean of the log of x. And that says take the derivative of our log partition with respect to eta. Well, our log partition was this long function, and now we just start taking it times, you know, or Um, so here, you 
Yeah, so here we have we have to with the minus is a constant, so it's one over this, which is that. And then it's times the derivative of this inside with respect to eta, which is minus one. So that minus one and minus one cancel. Now here, there's you know, if we take this times each of those, then this is a constant when it's multiplied by one. But with respect to eta, we get the log of uh, x of m back. Now, if we put in what we know about eta, which is minus alpha minus 1, or minus alpha plus 1, depending, then this all, um, you can reduce that down to just 1 over alpha and plus log of x of m. So this is the mean of our sufficient statistic. So now the variance of our sufficient statistic is the second derivative of our log partition with respect to eta. Now we already found the derivative once which was this piece here so let's uh, do that again or well in this case I just write out the log partition again second derivative but we found the derivative once which was this now let's just take the derivative of that and then you know the minus one subtract the exponent times the derivative of the inside we get this and this is constant with regards to eta so it goes away um, this can be simplified to this now we plug in what we know about eta which is minus alpha minus one and then this reduces to one over alpha squared so this is the variance of our sufficient statistic it's the variance of the log of x well that's all I have for today hopefully you enjoyed it I sure did like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.